Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. A few days ago, I posted a video about ISD1820 module, which is a record and playback module where we could record our voice and play that back. But the only constant with the module was the duration of the recording, which was only about 10 seconds and could be modified up to 20 seconds. But many of you in the comments asked me how we can record more than 10 seconds or at least 1 or 2 minutes or even more than that or multiple audio tracks to suggest such a module. So today I have brought a module for you that is APR33A3 module which is also a record and playback module where you can record up to 11 minutes of audio. This is the module. I will demonstrate you all the functions and features of the module and show you practical demonstration of the module. So please stay with me till the end of the video. Do not skip the video and if you like the video, please hit the like button and if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. So let's carry on with the module APR33A3. First, let me introduce the module to you. You can see this module has eight push buttons. These are momentary push buttons. These eight buttons are used to record and play back the audio into this APR33A3 IC. This is a non-volatile IC. That means even if the power is out from the board, the audio will remain on this module. This module works in a 5 volt power supply. So here we can give the 5 volt power supply with a jumper or here we can give 12 volt power supply to this module and here is a power regulator IC that steps down the power to 5 volt. And this module works in up to 12 volt. Here is the selector switch. This is the selector switch by which we can choose whether we want to run it in 5 volt or 12 volt. If it is in this position, this will run in 5 volt. And if we slide it to the right side, this will work in 12 volt. Another sliding switch is there in the opposite side. This is used for the recording and playback selection. If the switch is in the right side, then it is for playback. And if the switch is in the left side, then it is for recording. And we can see two jumper pins here. These two jumper pins are used to connect the speakers to the module. And here is the small condenser microphone that is used to record the audio. So we need not to connect any external microphone to this module. If we want to connect external microphone, we can replace this microphone and connect an external microphone. So this is the basic introduction to the board. Now I will discuss about the features and the functionality of this module. As I said, the APR33A3 voice recorder and playback module has eight channels recording and playback function built in. When you buy the module, it comes with a small test speaker of 0.5 watt. But then that speaker does not produce good sound. And I have tested the module already. It does not provide very loud sound also. So if you want a louder sound, you need to connect an amplifier with this. And I am using a little bigger speaker with it to get a little louder sound. This module runs in 7 to 12 volt or direct 5 volt as I mentioned. And this takes almost about 5 to 10 milliampers of current while running. And there are 8 number of channels that we can record and play back the audio. This is done by these 8 switches. Here are 2 LEDs. One is a red LED, another is a green LED. The red LED turns on when we give the power supply. That means the board is powered on. And this green LED is the status indicator LED. When we play back or when we record, this LED turns on. Altogether, these 8 switches or 8 channels give almost about 11 minutes of recording time. And if we make an average, each channel gives 1.3 minutes of recording time. And this module also can be connected with a microcontroller. If I bring it a little closer, you can see M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7 and M8 pins are there. We can connect a header with it and we can connect it with a microcontroller. 
and then we can play the recorded sound using the microcontroller. So it is a single cheap high quality audio voice recording and playback solution for you. No external IC is required for any recording or playback. It is very user friendly. We can simply operate it by just moving into the playback or recording and then pressing these buttons. I will show in the demonstration. No programming or development system is required for this module. It works standalone. And for this, no battery backup is required. You see, if I turn both sides of the module, here is no battery for keeping the recorded audio saved. The standby current is very low, which is almost about 1 microampere. It has a built-in microphone amplifier while recording the audio and it has a kind of noise reduction built-in. So the noise while recording is very low and this is a very high quality analog to digital module. That means the analog audio that we provide to this module, it gets converted into digital mode and then again it gets converted to the analog mode and then it comes out from the speaker. Now how to record with this module? As I already mentioned, this module can be powered up by two ways, either a 5 volt power supply here or by a 7 to 12 volt power supply here by a barrel jack. And here is the slider switch for selection. We will provide a 9 volt power supply. So we are sliding it to the 12 volt position and we will connect the barrel jack for the power supply to this module. You see, as soon as I connected, the power on LED is glowing and the status LED is turned off. Now we can record 8 channels of audio here and let me first connect the speaker to it. So I connected the speaker here. Now I need to move the slider switch to the recording position which is towards the left that is already selected in the recording position and now whatever we want to record in any of these channels we need to press that button and we need to hold the button down until the voice message is over and then we can release the button so that the recording process will stop so for the first channel i am recording the audio after the beep this audio recording starts hello hello sound testing check hello 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 mic testing check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and at the end of the recording, a double beep sound is played that indicates the end of the recording audio. Now, if we want to hear the voice message, we will move the record play switch to the playback position and we need to press the same button. We have recorded here in the M8, that is the 8th channel and now let's see what is recorded. The sound is not very loud, so I am bringing the microphone closer to the speaker. After the beep, this audio recording starts. Hello, hello, sound testing, check. Hello, 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 mic testing, check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that was for one channel only. Now, if we want to record audio for multiple channels, we have to press multiple switches and record messages in multiple channels. Let's see. I moved the slider switch to the recording position and I will record messages. Hello, hello, this is the channel 1. Hello, hello, this is the channel 2. Hello, hello, this is channel 3. Hello, this is channel 4. Hello, now I am recording in channel 5. So I have recorded audio in 5 different channels. Now I will show you how we can play the different 5 channels already recorded. Before that I am moving the slider switch to the playback position. And then I will play the audio one by one. Hello hello this is the channel 1. Hello hello this is the channel 2. Hello hello this is channel 3. Hello this is channel 4. So now I am recording in channel 5. You see, I am pressing the button and the audio is getting played. So in this way, we can record 8 different channels and up to 11 minutes of audio. You see, this is very easy. This module is really easy to interface. And if we want to connect to microcontroller, let me show you here. You can see M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7 and M8. I have earlier also shown to you. These 8 pins are here, we can connect to the I.O. pins of the microcontroller. And when we give a low signal to these pins, this M1 to M8 channels get activated. That means when we give a low signal in the M1, the audio that is recorded in the M1 button 
that will play. When we press M2, the audio that is recorded in the M2 channel that will play. In this way, we can play 8 different audios using this module. So, you can build any devices with 8 different audios like a toy module, you can build something like a voice alert system for your car, uh, or you can build something like a distance measurement module, or you can build something like a calling bell, or you can build something like a mantra machine. So, lots of users are there using this module you can build. And for increasing the audio level, you have to use an audio amplifier. There are different types of audio amplifier modules available in the market. Or you can simply connect a transistor to this module to increase the audio level. So this is it, APR33A3 sound recording and playback module. If you have any question about this module, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I will definitely try to answer your question. And in India, I have bought it from Graylogix. I will give the link in the description. But if you are buying it from outside India, you can get it in Amazon or you can get it in AliExpress. This module will cost you about $5 to $6, not very costly, but the module is very useful. So today, up to this, I hope you liked the video and if you like the video, do not forget to press the like button. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel RG Innovations, please subscribe. Your subscription is absolutely free, but that gives me encouragement to bring new videos for you. Hope we will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye-bye, take care, have a nice time and again thank you for watching.